But now we'll go over the q and I'll answer all your questions over all the things we just talked about and others. That's the best of my abilities. And uh, let's jump into the Q&A. Do, 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 do. Slum cat. It's funny. Hey, Rob, do you think right now will be a good time to slow down some DCAing and set capital aside, deploy for the potential leg down in October, November? Always appreciate the insight. So the Shaolin had a pretty good response. He said, this is under the assumption that October, November will be down months and guaranteed Rob will say, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not your dad. Pretty close. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm definitely not anybody's dad here that I know of. But um, I'll just say this. Um, I have... I am not putting the same amount of cash that I had been before as far as dollar cost averaging. I've actually slowed down, but we've talked about this on numerous videos. I haven't, um, so like if I would usually put by a hundred bucks of Bitcoin, let's say a day, I'm only buying, you know, 25% of that. Uh, sometimes 10%, just depends on what I'm really getting into. So right now I've slowed down my normal amounts because if you look at it, if you really look at it, like what's the narrative here? What's, where's the money going to come from? Well, the government's not printing. They shut that off. I don't think they're going to, they're going to start printing anytime soon. And yeah, we've had, we've had one session where the CPI number has come down, but do you not think that Jerome Powell is going to keep raising rates? I think he is. And then if we take a look at the energy consumption, energy prices, just in Europe, it's just uh, astronomical. These people are paying five, seven, ten x what they used to pay and that's that's coming even faster and then if we take a look at the inflation rate in america it has come down a little bit but in europe it's only ramping up and then if we take a look at the housing markets i mean we've had we have the supply of houses going up interest rates are going up and there's not as much demand as there used to be so like if i just take a look at those type of factors where's the money going to come from for people to flow into crypto just because they think it's a pretty cool idea i don't that's not how it works there has to be a real working product that actually does something. And crypto has very, very little of that right now. So, and you're, I'll go ahead and, and spout off in the comment section, but uh, name one huge super app that does everything. Or that does, that, that, you know, more than, I don't know, a million people, 10 million, 20 million people use. And don't talk to me about NFTs. Those are worthless. They're, I, I, I just, I never really understood NFTs. I didn't really get it. I know where they could go and I can see the future of it. But for right now, I just don't see it. So that's my most uh, honest response. Sup, Rob? Bring us the dirty, dirty. Yes, trying to, without alienating everybody. <laughs> Mark says, when in power, uh, interview. I just sent off a... Uh, an email to those guys. We'll probably pick it up for two weeks or so. JH says, also everyone, I'm back here banging the drum. Sell and Voyager fooled everyone, not just you. Suicide not the option. No, it's not. And you know, like, let's be honest. Like, we got screwed. We got screwed. There was a lot of people doing a lot of due diligence. And like I said, like you had, you had pensions and from Canada, looking at Celsius, and they were doing their due diligence. Uh, you had uh, Simon Dixon from Bank to the Future and his whole team, they were doing their due diligence. These are smart people. This isn't just like one guy going, yep, looks good. They fooled us all. They fooled us all. And it was a, it was a, good, it was a good system until it wasn't. And that's just really what it comes down to. There is no really set it and forget it anymore, it seems like. You have to be on top of everything. And if not, then this is when you lose out. So I will say that, but you know, if you look at it, if we just look at the cycles of things, it's not like, like I just look at this as another 2018, honestly. Uh, when, when everything went down, I just, I didn't, make, I didn't make all my money because I bought it in 2017 at the height. It was like the worst part. I made all my money in 2018 when everything was down low, like where it is right here. I just kept dollar cross out. Look, I think we got a solid two years to accumulate until things blast off. What can you do in two years? And especially if you think about this, where was Cardano in 2018? It was at seven cents and it went to $3. Could you, would you be okay with accumulating at Cardano at seven cents for two years plus 
and then it blasts off the three bucks, I think you'd be all right. And that's just one example. I mean, Ethereum was $300, $400, $500, went up to almost $4,000. Bitcoin was at $3,000, went up to $67,000. So again, I just look at these, I just it's just the same stuff happening over and over again. And I don't know if, if people just don't see it like that or I'm just the only one that's, that sees it. That's how I see it. <sighs> Not me. Corner of Kobe's looked awesome. Wish I had a metaverse shirt, but I got me through it. Yeah, it was. It looks awesome, but it's gonna take a little bit of time. But those guys, I can I can get on board with what they're doing. That's for sure. Hey Rob, heard any more about Puerto Rico tracking all our coins? Not yet, but I'm sure they'll tell me all about it. <laughs> Puerto Rico wants to uh, have you notify the government of every single crypto transaction you do. Uh, I was making sense. Thank you, Johnny. Very good point about utility. It's really trying very hard to gain mass adoption amongst many other countries. I hope so. I hope so. Oh, wow. Mr. CM says, for the record, I'm not a Binance fanboy. I used them back in 2017. Once they started KYC, I haven't been back. Eh. Smash, smash a little like. That's right. Crypto golfer. Rob made all his money because he still lives in his mom's basement. She's allowed me to put up this enormous green screen, and here we are. Rob, is your favorite burner? I don't drink hard liquor. Mostly it's beer, and I don't even do that much that anymore. Miller Lite, because I like, because I'm classy. Uh, let's see. Couldn't a super strong dollar destroy the euro? Of course. Why would any European keep euros when dollars have reached peak inflation? Euros are hyperinflating. Good question. Why don't you put uh, some of that money into, into digital assets, dollar cost average? That's, well, that's always my question. Not everything, but sure. Oh, wow, that's interesting. There's a blockchain backer was on Bitcoin today, BitBoy today and said Bitcoin will never make another all-time high. What's your thoughts on that? Maybe. Don't know. Never know. There's always somebody who says it'll never go an all-time high. I kind of find that hard to believe. Never make an all-time high. I'll have to watch that episode. Uh, you ever consider starting a Discord? I like chatting with other dancers. Not really. I, you know what I don't like about Discord is that there's so many spams, spam bots and crap that's on there. I hate it. I should do something, though. I should do something on my website. Yeah, the energy prices, gas fee fees. Yeah, the energy price in Europe will cause chaos this winter. Yes, Putin is probably to blame, but European politicians are the real culprits. They're also, you know who the real culprit is? Was the government agencies themselves to do away with nuclear power. That was a huge mistake. We do the same thing here in America, and uh, we need to get back to that. There is no way solar and wind is going to provide everything that every country needs. Got to go back to nuclear. That's, I've said that many a time. The only thing we have to figure out is uh, the best way to store and dispose. Store, I th storage, I think we got it. Disposal, not yet. Why should we just blast things off into space? Yeah, Joby, I don't agree. I, I believe Bitcoin will easily break 100K and quickly drop back to 60 and so forth. The only thing that, would, that does concern me, I'm going to show you exactly what concerns me about what he says. And I was thinking about this. There's a document, let me say it. And this is, this is up for you to, to ponder. Look at this document. Let me get this out of here. So this is the dates of US recessions. And in Europe and different places, obviously it's, it's different. But uh, you know, there's a lot of money sloshed around in America, just as truth. So the dates of the US recessions You'll notice that they last about a couple. They last about a couple of years or so, uh, year and a half. 1969, 70, 73, 74, two years, year and a half, year and a half. 89, year and a half. But one thing you'll notice right here is that in 2009, this is after the the Great Recession, the housing market crash. This is when Bitcoin was created by Satoshi Nakamoto. And one thing you'll notice here, there's been no recessions. 
there's been no economic, major economic, major, major economic downturns for two consecutive quarters. Until here in 2020, when the coronavirus came about. But what did we do? Well, we printed money like crazy, like crazy. Look at this. This is the M1 money supply. This is how much money we created. So what concerns me is that, and everybody says the same thing. Well, Bitcoin's never been, been around in a war. That's not true because we were in Afghanistan for almost 20 years. And uh, of course now there's another, another war, Russia and Ukraine, so sure, I guess. But as far as like recessions and economic downturns, it's been pretty smoothing, pretty, pretty smooth for a while. So I think personally, I don't see an all time high happening in the next two years. That's for sure. I just don't see that. But guess what, folks? That's exactly how it works out like this. Just like we have recessions, it lasts about a year and a half to two. The same thing happens with our four year cycles. And I know, I know we don't have, there wasn't an economic downturn, but there, but after this downturn, this is a big one. We had prosperity for a decade, a decade after two years. So if we can get to this, these next two years, 23, 24, because I think there's going to be, I mean, whatever you want to call a recession, I think it's coming. If it's not here already, depending on the definition, I'm okay with that because 2012, 13, 14, 15, 16, having all time high dip reset. Guess what happens in 2024? A halving. So if we're in recession here again, 2022, 2023, and we got to go through a crappy 2024 to get over here to the end of 2025, that hits on all cylinders. Tell me if I'm not making sense right now. So. I don't see how it can't hit an all-time high. I could be wrong. Let me know in the comment section. <laughs> I feel, I feel recessed. Yeah, man. Time and power in my place. Twenty twenty-five. We got plenty of time. And look, thanks you, thank you, Joby. I believe in the cycles too, but just like, I mean, look at stock to flow. That worked out pretty well until it didn't. Although I was taking a look at it, it didn't look like it was too far off. And I'll do a video about that later. But I mean, it is, it is off right now. But every, all models are wrong and some are useful, like Ben talks about. But um, I mean, so far we've hit it. And if we just, it's not going to be exact. I don't really care about exact. But if, uh, if you're here for around three years, four years, five years, I think you'll be just fine. At least that's what I think for myself. I can't tell you what to do. <laughs> I vote no on the white beard. Well, I can't do anything else unless I get just for men. I'm not doing that. Uh, I think I, we're good here. <laughs> Arul says, I think the next bull run is coming in the next few weeks of crypto. Man, I hope you're right. I do. I hope you're right. Uh, Peter says, I thought he muted me months ago. I don't... The only people I ban on this channel are obvious spam bots that are like, they do like 20 different posts in a row. Have you seen tomato coin or whatever it is? Luke Skywalker did a pretty good thing. Avocados and organic eggs. It makes sense. And Mad Cow says it right. Be patient in accumulation phase. And some people, aren't, some people aren't, aren't accumulating at all right now. They're just like, I'm waiting for this big, big drop. And you can, you can definitely do that. And there's a lot of good data that says that it definitely could be. And just the things I we were just talking about. But for me personally, there's always this, this 5% that's like, are you sure? Are you sure? I'm like, well, I'm not sure. So that's why I do what's called micro DCAing again. So if I'm going to spend hundred bucks a day on, on, on Bitcoin, I'll scale it back. It'd be 10, 15 bucks, 20 bucks. And that's it. Then I just wait around. Then I just accumulate a little cash. I'm trying to accumulate as much cash too because I know that there's a housing market crash that's coming up and um, there's pretty good opportunities there. And that's another thing. Like if you're looking at it and moving forward, we're moving forward and we're, and we're taking a look at inflation and, and how things are getting out of control. Like wouldn't you just want to just buy a ton of different assets, especially as they start to go down and hard assets, right? And yeah, of course you can get a gold and silver. I have some gold and silver in my trust, whatever. 
But uh, I mean, why wouldn't you take a look at real estate as it starts to really, you know, fall down? That's a really good tax incentive. And of course, you can you can play a lot with it these days. It's not just you can either, you know, buy it, flip it and sell it, or you can buy it and, and do long-term rentals. Now you can buy it and do short-term rentals and do a mixture of both. And it works out pretty well. That's what we do. So like when I look at these things, I'm like, why don't people buy more assets to hold on to as opposed to just hoarding money and uh, go from there? I don't know. Just, I mean, I'm hoarding money until assets become cheaper, which that's what it is. As soon as we can get out of this Cantillon effect. Okay. Okay, how about that, huh? <laughs> Justin, enough. Is it a housing crash or a housing correction? Depends on who you ask. <laughs> Best answer is mods bounty or mentioning Luna. Why? People people remind me constantly about Voyager. I don't ban them. But it's because I I I was the one that was talking about it a lot. Was I not? Was I not? I was. And when I once I learned about that stupid loan, I I know why they did it. We did a, a video on Three Arrows Capital, kind of long, over 30 minutes or so. Just took a look at what happened in Three Arrows Capital and how they became this unbeatable you know, fund and what they were doing. Essentially what they were doing is it was a Ponzi, but they were saying, we're not going to give you collateral, but we're going to give you this really great yield. And we've never defaulted on the yield. Look at all these other people. Well, what they were doing is, was they were just bringing in new people and they were paying the yield from the old people. It's a classic, classic Ponzi to me. And that's what happened with everybody. They're just like, oh, these guys have never defaulted. It looks pretty good. And we're going to get some pretty good yield. And that's why all these yields were so ridiculously crazy. So I get it. Doesn't excuse anything. And that's it. Yeah. Some people have made a lot of money. Done with Solana. Yeah, I'm still talking about Solana. Who knows? Might might be great. I still own some Solana. <laughs> I got banned. I got banned from Crudo's Rose. Is this where everybody comes? Like this is the island of misfit toys where everybody gets banned, they come to my my channel. I'll take it. Sure. Come on down. And Odie says it great. I also hoard money until assets become cheaper. That's very true. All right. Well, everybody, so that's it for today. I know it was uh, a little bit um, just kind of cut and dry type of stuff, but I'm going to take your feedback, especially with those the, the daily markets. I'm just going to say this is the market cap, and we're going sideways or we're going up or going down, and just move on from there. I'm not, I can't spend too much time talking about everybody's favorite coin because who cares? All right. So that's it, everybody. So thanks so much for stopping by. I appreciate it. I mean, look, you've already been in almost 40 minutes. That's pretty great. So look, like today's video, the only way this really helps out is hit the, the like button. I think subscribers are, doesn't really matter these days, but if you subscribe, great too. That's awesome. But that's it. So thanks so much for stopping by. I appreciate it. And I'll see everybody on the next one. Thanks. Adios.